When a man is tired of London, he is tired of life. For there is in London all that life can afford. Careful atop these double-decker buses. The turns deliver some wicked whiplash. But it's a great way to see the major sights. Most importantly, you'll be freeing up that much more time to catch a football game, concert, festival, or simply more time to drink at one of the many historic pubs here. But those are for later episodes. Day one is all about Westminster, Green Park, and Piccadilly Circus. Hop off the bus at Buckingham Palace to watch Changing the Guard, held daily at 11 a.m. during the summer. Let's meet up with a local to discuss a lesser known highlight of London, public parks. Hello, I'm Panny, uh, and this is Green Park in the borough of Westminster. Uh, it's my local work park, if that makes sense. I work up the road, so this is where I come just for a little rest. It's a lot of green in a very smoky grey city, uh, perhaps intentionally. It's not the biggest of the parks. If you want to go down to Hyde Park over there, you've got real park grandeur. This is a sort of baby park, if you will, somewhere to stop by, maybe have a little picnic in between sessions of work, but not necessarily somewhere you spend the day, although there are some guys who are very, uh, very clever with their money-making schemes and they're selling deck chairs over there. So, I mean, by all means, you could spend the day here. It's a bit optimistic. The weather's very rarely sunbathing worthy. Uh, but yeah, a nice enough park nonetheless, a nice uh, transition park as you build your way through the park, start with Grayton Park and then move on to the Hyde Park. It's a, it's a gateway drug of parks, if you will. Yeah, this is Green Park for you. Mostly wet, but always green. A favourite of most many a Londoner, many a tourist. So, uh, as you can see, it's about to piss it down uh, and that's pretty regular for London, unfortunately. So most of the time people come to London, they walk around, they think they're going to get good weather, they invariably get wet and damp. Uh, most people when they're working might splice up their day with a wet walk through the park. I mean, that's complete nonsense, they don't do that. They're scared away from the park because of the wet. but. Uh, Definitely worth stopping by. It's one of the easiest to get to. You're right on the Victoria Line by Green Park Station. So uh, once you get here, you may notice that it's quite a busy city, uh, a very busy work city, like most sort of big metropolises are, I suppose. Uh, but that doesn't mean it's all work. There's, uh, there's room for other activities. I mean, most people will splice their day with a bit of fun, actually. Most people go for a pint on their work break, which may be foreign to some of you guys, I don't know. Uh, but also there's room for other things. People like to get up to all sorts. Uh, there's a lot of running, a lot of fitness, and mm, lots of drinking, lots and lots of drinking. But also central London especially, definitely home to a lot of protesting. A uh, good way to get a lot of people's attention is to protest through Piccadilly, which is right where we are now. And what's going on right now, in fact, is a protest. If, I don't know if you can hear the beeping in the background, but uh, something about dolphins, I don't know, but that just goes to show how many protests occur here on a busy day. Um, so yeah. London. Before we make our way to Piccadilly Circus, I'm pretty hungry. 
and there's only one place in Westminster that will satisfy my hunger lust. Burger and Lobster. It's all about that dipping sauce of mayo, lemon, and chives. Despite what you may hear from the locals, I found Piccadilly Circus to be a fun area to explore. Sure, it's mob the tourists, but so are you. The street performers are pretty awesome. I'm in the mood to people watch from time to time, and Covent Garden is a great place to do that. Simon, I'd just like to say I'm very grateful. This is something I've always wanted to have a go at. There is a reason for this. This is so I know if you're nervous, girl. If you're not a small girl, if you've got bad nerves, I can't have you standing on me when I'm lying on the spikes, of course. So, as soon as I, the balloon, I'd like to stand up. Come over here, take up the safe of here, I line the spike, you get me revenge. Quick piece of favorite trivia, ladies and gentlemen, different websites all have different names. This is the sort of wish bag. This is an overhead feeling. The truck I am going to be using to burst that balloon. Snake killer. <laughs> because it cracks close to the ground, not for any other reason, I promise. Okay, keep it going. Keep it going. 
I'm going to have to give favourite park to Hyde Park, but uh, just because it's big, there's a sort of green grandeur about the whole thing, uh, which sounds horribly pretentious and I apologise, I'm just a bit nervous in front of the camera. Here we go! That's a big camera. I bet you got a tiny car. <laughs> Two, three, four, five.